Welcome to day three of our 40 days of prayer and fasting for our spouses. Well, day three is a little bit sensitive and controversial, so stick with me and let's go through it together. The title of day three is Preparing for the Marriage Bed. 1 Corinthians 7, 3 to 5 says the wife's body does not belong to her alone, but also to her husband. In the same way, the husband's body does not belong to him alone, but also to his wife. Do not deprive each other so that Satan will not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. What do you mean by my body doesn't belong to me? This is mine and I will do with it with what I want. Thank you very much. Does that ever occur to you? Well, the passage doesn't stop there. In fact, we realize that there is a reason and insight for being diligent in sharing our bodies in the marriage bed. Depriving each other or purposely withholding sex from each other as a punishment? Oh boy, this prepares a ground prime for the enemy's temptations to take root. It is not wise to place your husband in a position where his sexual needs could cause him a lack of self-control. Ultimately, he must decide for himself to stay pure before the Lord. However, a wife holds the power to help her husband maintain his integrity. Applying the biblical concept of love, the kind that, number one, honors others above itself, number two, lays down its life for a friend, and number three, builds others up according to their needs, helps us discern wisely in how we honor God and our husbands with our bodies. Here are a few practical tips that actually help this author to be prepared when her husband reveals his desire in ways only a man can. So there are three things. One, prepare mentally. Two, prepare physically. And three, prepare initiation. Gosh, this is so uncomfortable to talk about this in video, but I'm going to go ahead and do it so we can all learn from what the scripture is telling us as wives to fulfill our husbands. Preparing mentally. The largest sex organ is the brain. Try to be aware of his need. Calculate the frequency of your husband's longing for you and make pointed efforts to rest up or plan for those times. Being mentally prepared will help you and I respond more willingly to our husbands and avoid our husband to feel as though he is intruding on you. Having a begrudging or reluctant attitude will take away the intended fulfillment and connection sex is designed to provide for both of you. To help you prepare mentally, these are some of recommendations from the author. Number one, you can text your husband something flirty. Number two, you tuck a note in his book or briefcase or lunch and say something that is sexy. Look through a photo album together or recall a few favorite moments you shared. Serve dinner in candlelight. Who cares if it is mac and cheese and the kids are there? That's the stuff that makes lifetime memories. Think on a few good qualities about your husband, and this will enhance your appreciation for him. What do you think of that? Number two, prepare physically. Most women feel more confident when they're clean and dressed for the occasion. So ask for 10 minutes to prepare yourself for him. Take a shower, wear a little something, or a little nothing just for him. You will find it easier to relax and enjoy your marriage bed more. And your husband will be so thankful to unwrap the gift of you. Hmm. Prepare initiation. Often a husband feels insecure or inadequate in how to initiate his desire for his wife without feeling as though he's imposing on her. 
a wife can help alleviate this internal battle for him by occasionally initiating sex herself. And if you've been married for any length of time, you know it doesn't take long before your husband takes your sweet and flirty to some kind of fiery spice. So go flirt with him. Pray for you and your husband to find time and energy for one another. Pray that you would find deepened intimacy and connection to each other that strengthens your marriage and understanding of each other. So I have a confession to make. So this evening, actually, I was so tired. And then both my son and my husband said, Mom, you've got to make some videos. And it's so funny. My husband said, why don't you dress up, honey, and put on your makeup and get ready for your video? And I'm like, oh boy, this is a hint. Is this a hint or a clue for me? So I went ahead and did that. And for those of you who have been following my videos, we are in this journey together. So let's do it. Verses to reflect upon. Proverbs 5, 15 to 20. Drink water from your own cistern, running water from your own well. Should your springs overflow in the streets, your streams of water in public squares, let them be yours alone, never to be shared with strangers. May your fountain be blessed and may you rejoice with the wife of your youth, a loving doe, a graceful deer. May her breast satisfy you always. May you ever be captivated by her love. Why be captivated, my son, by an adulteress? Why embrace the bosom of another man's wife? Ecclesiastes 9.9 9. Enjoy life with your wife whom you love. Hebrews 13.4 Marriage should be honored by all, and the marriage bed kept pure, for God will judge the adulterer and all the sexually immoral. Let us pray. Father God, thank you for this man you have blessed me with. I pray that you would give him an increased sense of fulfillment in our physical time together so that he might be encouraged to flourish in all areas of his life. Father, you have designed my husband with a need for my body. Teach me how to give myself willingly and wholeheartedly. Remind me to plan and prepare for my husband so that I might not see his needs as obligations, but rather as opportunities to love deeply. Let me find sex enjoyable and fulfilling. I pray my husband will see my physical being as a gift and that he may be satisfied and captivated by my love. Proverbs 5.19 May our marriage bed be kept pure and honorable before you. May we not defile each other's bodies. Father, I stand against any temptations to partake in extramarital affairs or adulterous thoughts. May our trust in each other never be broken or endangered by the schemes of the enemy or evil plans of others. I pray, Father, that you will remove any remembrances or enticements of other intimate relationships we may have had prior to our commitments to one another. Purify our minds from any wanderings or longings of past relationships. Replace them with renewed rapture and devotion to each other. As we become one in the flesh, may we bring glory to God, the author and creator of intimacy. In Jesus' name, amen. So what is our fasting challenge for today? The fasting challenge for today is fast from all electronics. Now that is going to be very difficult for me because I use my iPhone, my iPad, my laptop, and my computer. So how do we manage this? I think the challenge here could be modified based on your work. So in my case, instead of spending, for example, an hour on Facebook, I'll cut it down to 10 minutes or none at all. So how do we do that? Or 
you could have other fasting choice. How about, in my case, since I can't get away from electronics, my fasting choice would be not to eat chocolates. They're my favorite. So I will fast from eating chocolates. How about you? Let me know. Thank you again and God bless you.